How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. Welcome to another big BCBM. This one is from Leon and believe it or not, some of the stuff you will have already seen because it used to belong to me. So, uh, as I dig into this package, because I like to keep this video fairly short, as you can see there's some bulk that's going out in the back here and I want to make sure the shipping is done on time. Uh, I had uh, someone who has purchased cards from me before get in touch with me and say, hey, just letting you know I'm getting out of Japanese card collecting, uh, looking to unload my collection, I can give you a good price if you're willing to purchase a lot of stuff. So he sent me a bunch of pictures and said, you know, this is what I still have left over, uh, you'll recognize this stuff from when you sold it to me before, and so on and so forth, and I, you know, we got an agreed upon price, I got a lot of stuff coming, and this is that said package. Uh, which is pretty exciting to be able to see some of this stuff again. Uh, it is not on the uh, on the level of like a thingy. For those of you who, who have been around for a while, know what a thingy is. Uh, when I purchase like giant lots of uh, of hollows off of eBay, uh, it's not there in terms of bulk, but the quality of the cards that are included is uh, absolutely, positively undeniable. So let's crack into this and find out what we've got. I've actually had this in my possession for a little while now, uh, but I've been unable to actually make this video uh, for a variety of reasons, just, you know, catching up with some other stuff, so reaching out to him regarding it, so uh, it's been a little while, and we're gonna, we're gonna see exactly what we've got here, so I hope you're excited about it, I am. Uh, you know what, we're going to start on the right-hand side, just kind of go through our cards. we got a Mega Gallade EX, Mega Rayquaza EX, those are originals from Emerald Break. Old School EX is making an appearance as well. So you got this, Rayquaza EX, and actually, looks like I've got a couple more friends in here. Tyranitar, Old School EX, Flygon EX. Uh, really wonderful to see these cards again, and actually I'm realizing I should probably check these all to make sure there's no other uh, secret cards floating around there, because I want to show off everything in its entirety. Alright, so we've got a Salamence EX right there, Gyarados EX, looking beautiful as ever, so you got Gengar EX, and Primal Groudon for the newer type EXs there. Yeah, I got some full arts coming in as well. We've got the Mega Agron full art and a Mega Latios full art. Pretty awesome to scoop these up. Definitely in need of making a full art binder sale video. Uh, there's a full art regular Agron. And a beautiful Gardevoir full art as well. Continuing on, there will be quite a bit in here, of course. I've got two more full arts, the Archie's Ace in the Hole and the Pokemon Center Lady full arts. Next top loader's got this full art Trevenant. And the Golden Mega Manectric EX, that is the ultra rare version. Uh, again, as I've mentioned before, you can tell because of the difference in the tint, the border, of course, is uh, is golden, and the lettering is golden as well, instead of being that golden and red. This is, in fact, a black and white era shiny, a shiny Verizion. They don't make them like they used to, I'll tell you. Shiny Garbodor as well. I have pulled this card on my channel before, which just makes me laugh. Uh, but now I've got another one to bring into the fold. Oh, looks like we got some tape there. Where's the tape? Uh, Full Art Manectric from Phantom Gate. And Full Art Camerupt from Gaia Volcano. Told you this thing was big. So there we've got a Full Art Hydreigon. In a full art thunderous. Can't get enough of this card right here. Love Hydreigon. Uh, speaking of cards I can't get enough of, uh, can we just talk for a second about how uh, this Kirim full art, which I'm going to struggle to get out safely, uh, this is the first full art I've ever pulled 
uh, in Japanese. I pulled it from a Hail Blizzard booster box before I ever made YouTube videos. Uh, so I absolutely adore this card. It's totally fantastic. Oh, I tried to guess. <laughs> and we've got the Groudon EX Full Art, which, as many of you will know, is my favorite card ever. Uh, it's what got me into collecting in the first place. So you can see how Hail Blizzard played a very, very critical role in you even seeing this video to begin with. I've also got a Full Art Sharpedo, Tidal Storm. Full Art Kyogre, also Tidal Storm. Uh, a card that, for whatever reason, is just criminally underrated. This, this uh, Full Art Primal Kyogre EX, uh, which I cannot get enough of. And there's one more card in the stack, P.S. It's the Primal Groudon EX Full Art. Amazing, amazing stuff. This is the bulk of, like, the super primo stuff uh, in this lot. But I wanted to make sure I showed it off. And also, now I have all these top loaders that I'll be able to use. I don't know what I'll use them for, because I never, ever, ever, ever need top loaders. Just kidding, I need them all the time. I buy them in bulk, that's how often I use them. But here we've got a nice little pouch of stuff. So we're gonna have to see what's inside here. Oh, would you look at that? It's more EXs. So we've got lots of Megas here. We've got Kangaskhan, we've got the uh, Magnazone, Malamar, Florgis, Whale Party, uh, Hydreigon, Gallade, uh, Dialga, Toxicroak, Regular Kangaskhan this time. Uh, Mega Deancy EX. We've got Sharpedo. Regular Deancy. We've got Agron. Camerupt. Oh, is that... Yeah, yeah, that's good. And another Manectric. And a Trevenant. Oh, and surprise, more old school EXs. think I would let you off that easy. We've got a Claydol EX. We've got Cresselia Level X. Reaching back for some of these guys. Uh, Hitmonchan EX. Clefable EX. Altaria EX. Which I've always loved as a card. Uh, oh, skipped one. How could we miss that? CP Man would be mad. Uh, Kabutops EX. Electabuzz EX. Got a few odds and ends here too. Got a Groudon EX. Uh, Gardevoir. Rayquaza. Gengar and Kyogre, and last but not least, a Latios. With some more stuff to come, what could be in here? It's a sealed Blaziken EX. Still got a lot of these hanging around. I think I've unsealed pretty much all of them, uh, just because it's difficult to ship uh, cheaply for people if the card is still in that packaging. Uh, so let's move on to, you know what, we're going to sort this out because I want a particular card to be last. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that one's going to be last. Uh, is, is the rest of this pretty much safe? I have a little, little top loader mishmash issue here. With some, some tape involved. Uh, so this is going to be... Yeah, those are going to be the last ones. And that there, yes. Uh, because, yeah, there is still some great stuff to come. Uh, just like the Blaziken you just saw, here's the Mega Blaziken EX and Mega Agron EX. Told you more Megas. Now, can we safely get these out? I think so. Yeah. Got a Primal Kyogre and Mega Latios, the regular varieties this time. I must tell you, Leon knows his stuff when it comes to Japanese Pokemon cards, so as bummed as I am that he's getting out of the community, as you see this Mega Gardevoir, and oh yeah, PSA Shaman EX, the original Shaman EX from Emerald Break, uh, you should, uh, hopefully you will fully appreciate uh, the quality of what's coming in here. Uh, a lot of these cards are really, really fa fantastic condition. Uh, some of the older ones obviously will have more wear and tear on them, but that's to be expected. Got a Mega Gengar EX and an Evil Tall EX Full Art. This is the Super Legend set version, uh, not the uh, not the Y Collection version. Ugh. 
So the, for the last few remaining top loaders, I'm going to be taking them out of the top loaders to show off without you seeing the cases. Because I like to have the, uh, the power of the reveal on my side. So I think I've got some pretty awesome stuff to show you. How about a black and white version shiny Archeops? How about that, huh? And don't worry about this writing that's just on the sleeve. I'll prove it, see? What's that doing down there? Speaking of shinies, how about the shiny Hydreigon from Psycho Drive? This is the last time you saw this card hanging around, especially in Japanese. Uh, next up is going to be a card which needs no introduction. Literally, if anything, it needs negative introduction. Shiny Rayquaza. The real one. The amazing one. The almost historic one. In comparison to the shiny Rayquaza EXs that were in those giveaways that I still have like a buttload of and can never get rid of. Uh, speaking of shinies, how about uh, how about a little shiny crocodile action, by the way? P.S. Sorry if I was calling them shiny EXs before. It's a force of habit. Shiny crocodile. Which is a fantastic tint that you really don't see in a lot of cards these days anymore. Oh, but we're saving the best for last. There's just a few more cards to go. Just a few. Let's see, which one do I want to go with first? Yeah, how about this? We're going to go this way. How about this Scyther EX from the Rocket series? The Rocket Scyther. Oh, but there's more. How about a Rocket's Mewtwo? Tis a beaut. Ah. Back to the days when Suicune actually was properly represented in the TCG Rocket Suicune EX. It was a simpler time. I don't know how we got here, but it was a simpler time. By the way, I've got two more cards to show you. I did save the best for last, after all. How about this Gyarados Gold Star? The Delta Species Variety. Hall on Phantoms. A set that booster packs and booster boxes are nearly impossible to find these days. And a flagship card for certain. And now we get back to the cases for the final card. A Gold Star Vaporeon. Now this is a special card for a lot of reasons. Uh, many of them being the fact that it's an evolution, but I don't know how well that's going to show up. That is the World Champions Pack version. Uh, this is a uh, this is a star card from uh, one of the hardest sets to complete ever. Uh, and if you need any proof on World Champions Pack being a difficult set to complete, uh, as far as sets that came out before 2017, main Japanese sets, it's maybe the only one of mine that isn't done yet. I'm looking for like a condition replacement on a Celebi uh, in Mirror Foil from the Legend series. Uh, and aside from that, I just need its Grass and Lightning Energies. Uh, but uh, anyways, this was my big purchase. So giant, giant thanks to Leon for uh, allowing me to procure this incredible lot and this, uh, this most wonderful aspect of his collection. Uh, I did pick up pretty much all the amazing stuff from him because I had to have it for myself. I really wanted to make a video about it and be able to distribute it to you guys as well. Uh, I'll make no bones about it. Eventually, this is going to be sold for profit uh, over the course of however long it's going to take. Uh, it is a, uh, a big driving force why I picked it up in the first place. Uh, but I trust me, I did not shortchange the guy. Uh, I've known him for a while. I would never do that to anyone, let alone someone that I've uh, that I've had dealings with in the past. Uh, and the uh, the result was mutually beneficial as he was able to get out. Uh, and 
and leverage it into what he needed as well as I was able to make an awesome video and collect some stuff that I very rarely get the chance to put my hands on. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below and I will catch you guys back here tomorrow for the finale and the vote for the King of the X and Y Full Art series and I hope you do enjoy it.